Three. And Port Augusta traffic, Romeo Juliet, Foxtrot lining up at 334 immediate departure. We'll be climbing 3500, tracking 053. Port Augusta traffic, 7489, also taxiing to 33. Traffic compass one two three is also taxing for three three. User joined your channel. Station station. I'm above a Romeo BC six. We'll be doing an intersection departure on runway three three. Ticket tracking. Uh... 053 passing 1000 to 3500. Well, hello guys, how are you? I've finally got a chance to fly. Rusty, G'day, Rusty. Good man. Yeah, work, work sucks at the moment. <laughs> Augusta traffic, my hotel golf is taxiing runway 33 behind 3 traffic. River Bravo Romeo Line, you're taking off 33 in section departure. direction I'd say. What was this for me? So Port Augusta, which of our Yankee lining up runway 33 for a departure to the northeast. Which of our Yankee? Port Augusta, traffic, compass number 89, holding short, uh, How far out would you be before you would actually, uh, like where there's no actual um, range from the airport with the CTAC frequency that you'd transition to the Unicom or you're just monitoring it anyway? Yeah, technically 10 miles I think. Uh, that was... What a good traffic, 789, lining up, rolling, three three. I think that was on um, Radio Unicom. Yeah, sorry mate, what is it again? 10 miles, isn't it? Okay, it's yeah, done. Yeah, I did too. Line is 
taken off, was it? Affirmative, I've taken off. So you're not a, you haven't the wasn't lying on tonight? Right, the Actually, the time set the other day on towards dusk, uh, and then getting a bit more altitude, these ranges will be even more spectacular in the morning. Yep, in some of this low sun, it looks fantastic. Yeah, well, because we what had a bit of a stop at the moment, Ross. Sorry, mate. What time do you have? Uh, I've set mine for... My time now is 7.01. Okay, Local copy. time. 7.0? Um, 2200. 22.01. Thank Zulu. you, 22. Early morning. A massive big sun I'm heading up. Uh, Portal gas to the track at compass 123, rolling runway 33, EFR to the effect. Anyone doing a touch and go at corn? I don't know, uh, there's a right airport there. It's an intersection, isn't it? There's a township and an oh, Indian intersection. The RF. Oh, there's an option of uh, doing a touch and go, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a Park Station, uh, YK. Hey Jason. Hello Peter, how are you mate? Oh, pretty good. Um, yep, and yourself? 
Very good, it's been a while since I've uh, done a VFR flight and uh, yeah, looking forward to, uh, to the rest of the flight. Yeah, good area, good to see you back. Oh, are you kidding me? That sounds like a fatal error. Bingo. I've got another truck building on there, make a pun to go right across the wind, it's coming to the north east. Creek by Quantum 2500. What Just checked the weather settings and uh, it had gone to use the coins as soon as it clipped it over to uh, real weather. And it reloaded it, but bang. Which weather engine are you using? Rex Essentials. I shouldn't have tried to reset uh, the weather. Well, at least it happened early on. It's easy to, we should be able to catch back up again. Yeah. Oh yeah, well I was actually back right off with the uh, 177 because it cruises along fairly quick. What's its cruise? Oh, well, you can get about 145 out of it. A bit like a Mooney Bravo. Yeah, it's a bit quicker than a default 172. It's um, a bit beefier motor in it. Yeah, and more streamlined. Uh, the Pilatus PC6, if you lighten it up, you can get about 135, 140. It's fully loaded, it struggles to do 95. Yeah. Maybe I'll go to the T34 Mentor. Correct, Port Augusta, Mike Hotel Golf. That'd be a bit of a kill, that. Looks like number two now. All runway three three. No smack bang over the intersection, uh, over the township. Four hundred. I was. Um, I assume that's what you call it. Absolutely. Cool. I'm just passing it for a little bit of My pop lives here. What a corn? Yeah, pop corn. Oh, jeez. 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 Augusta, Mike Hotel Golf enters runway three three at the intersection. Uh, at dawn when it departed, it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it is actually. I have to agree. I, I went the opposite. I'm going to dusk, so hopefully it'll be nice when I arrive. I did that the other yeah, night. What time you you got yeah. I did that too, and um, <laughs> they couldn't find the rock runway. Good night. You weren't there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Trap for Augusta, Mike Hotel Golf to part of the field. Climbing out of uh, 2,500 to uh, 3,500. Is going to get over that ridge? I'm watching you from above. Um, trying to get out a few uh, jumpers for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm above. I am above. Oh, I'm sort of above you looking down on you and uh, you look like you're about to fly into those trees. Thank you God for looking down. I'm a pump past it. Yeah, you see that, yeah. Uh, uh, can, someone, uh, can someone tell you, how do you know you're at a room of creek in the and then uh, and now uh, how do you know you've got to those places if you miss them through your VFR? Uh, there are actually there are some intersections on the road really it's not an hour singer anyway but you'll be able to see it for a long that's what you can say you just look at the um, the scenery for the intersections and that
real life that actually have a little town, like other buildings and uh, man made objects for you to see, but scenery is not that detailed. Yeah, uh, well, I've got all sorts of other people I do, but uh, it, it may be uh, the eroding section, so I'm not sure if it's made the point. Yeah, it's still quite possible. Uh, you know, they're in you know, and around a gap. Usually you know, somewhere in the scenery, somewhere up, placed it somewhere where there's a gap in the ridge line or something like that. Is everybody taken off? I think so. I'm running the Orbex scenery and I compare that to, uh, to Google Earth and then sort of track it on, uh, on Google Earth. And I've got to say, the, the scenery is pretty much exactly what you've got on Google Earth. The lakes are in the same place, not the roads so much, but most of the towns that are on Google Earth are represented in the Orbex scenery as well, so I'm sort of running off that. Yeah, yeah. but is Bloom a town or is it a roadhouse? It's close to a roadhouse, but it's actually a holiday spot. Right, so that'd be a holiday place still. <laughs> and then a, uh, a fly past. Well, you'll tell us if you find it, will you? Oh, well, why? Because you, you don't think you'll find it. No, suck the scenery. I just found like a bit of a gap in the hill or the range, roughly where it is. So I assume that's where it was. Yeah, that's actually very nice. If you went to the east, you'd pass through like that. Yeah, I was just going to say, I didn't, that was just the only thing I identified, it was probably a road that cuts through the range there. But basically it's just a straight route, so you're just passing through on the northeast or the northeast course all the way along there. And Lana? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. We're, 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 land, we're landing, we're doing a full stop landing at Waipuna Pound Airfield. Um, okay. Not a touch and go? No, we're doing a full stop landing there. And if you get there first, you'll, you'll see there's a whole lot of sheep there, and I've got the good looking one, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm not into sheep. Uh, no. Uh, no. no, no. no. one that's picking the horn. <laughs> oh, okay. You mean Sheila, you mind that? Yeah, no, sorry, Hurry up, we want real. to go out in the woods today. And that's real peanut now, so, yeah, that's what I pronounce it, I think. I was going to say, I thought it was an L. Well, I'm following a road at the moment. A straight road. That's exactly what you should do. Actually, there's a railway line too, I think, somewhere that joins the two. No, it doesn't show a railway line, it shows the road. Any trains on the line? No railway line, it's just a road. Actually, <laughs> oh, where about are you? Located? I think the railway line is way to the east, most of the yeah, it's probably right. You're probably further up north than I realised. Yeah, it's used for mining mainly, so there's mining, uh, usually mining trains going through at 6 o'clock in the morning sort of thing. And there's agriculture too, I should also add. So who flew on Friday? Because I, I was a bit sad I had to miss that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to follow that. Uh, was it Hawkers? Hawkers steering North Road. Let's follow that up, eh? Watch out for fighting eagles, I seem to have seen a lot lately. Didn't see it last Friday. I've got one about 10 o'clock. Really? What height? I'm doing 
2,500 and it's just below me. Really? Guys, actually, just touch and go. What was the car? Where did you actually land and have a look around? Touch and go, yeah. It's actually not bad to look around either. Okay. They were touch and go at your peanut here. No, full stop at your peanut. What's that for the sheep? Or, um... It's a camera. Yeah, touch and go at the line of and you're a full stop at your peanut. And what, we start off again, do we? Usually, what you do when you stop. It's worth a look, Donald, because it's, it's bloody good scenery. Eh? There's kangaroos there and everything. Oh, okay. And if you, and you look at the kangaroos, if you do a really good landing, they won't wipe their eyes. They trying to wipe the dust out of the eyes after Friday night. Oh, wow. Yeah, all like that, there's quite a few animated ones. There's one scratching its head with its back leg, another one cleaning its front paws. Well, I've never noticed that. I know we've also got some people picnicking at the barbecue there. Yeah, well, yeah. The sheep at the other have a look at the forum, Rusty. Uh, I've um, posted a, um, a heap of screenshots in the, uh, on the flight on Friday night. Ah, I will do. I will do. I've been very interested in this year. You guys have got up to. OK, <laughs> well, I'm going to rawly part of your day 03. Yeah, I'm going to do a full stop there and have a look. Uh, likewise, sounds pretty interesting. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to uh, log off for a short time. Been in WA. It's a uh, quick bite of dinner, and then I'll be uh, I'll be back. But uh, I'll log off and then log back on in about five, ten minutes, hopefully. But I'll see you yeah. shortly. Well, yeah. 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 The sheep are at the far end. Yeah, and if the sheep gets mixed up with the kangaroos and they start mating, they'll end up with a woolly jumper. Oh god, that's two in one day. You'll have David Adam for here. You can use speaking and say that to you because they're not great. We'll have to think of another one. Yeah. I can spare us, Dave, if you wish. Did you see what David Attenborough had achieved up in um, the Queensland with that uh, liberal lizard? Sorry, Pete, what was that again? David Attenborough, it was, it was on the news last night, I think, or on Friday night, um, where a little rare skink lizard is uh, brought back into, uh, you know, the realms of uh, it's not extinct anymore. Oh, really? Yep. I only talked about something the other day about that, like uh, some bloke wants to rebuild uh, as per like Jurassic Park to um, I reckon they can clone uh, Dolly the sheep and everything then why can't they do it with a dinosaur I reckon they ought to lock the bloke up because yeah, sheep are existing you need live DNA to pop the one out of one thing they need a live dinosaur you can't do it off and fossilised stuff no you're right and there's also gaps usually so Lionel, there's, there's a lot of dinosaurs around the cops here. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of dinosaurs uh, running the world. There's a few, there's a few dinosaurs tonight, isn't there? Yeah, there's quite a few dinosaurs. I suppose you could classify me as a dinosaur, I'm 73, I'm 73. Yeah, well, I'm 
over to the over 60s club in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Trench just holding back and saying nothing. Yeah, I just uh, popped overhead corn in my little 172 doing 110 knots. A bit behind you guys, but uh, if you guys stop long enough over at uh, Wilpena Pound, I'll probably catch up. What are you in, okay. um, What are you in, Ben? And it's the old 172, Carinato. Yeah. Gotta go with the basics tonight. Yeah. Two wings, an engine, a speed, and altitude, and that's about it. What about a target? What about a target moth? Yeah. Actually, I saw a tiger. Moth, I think it was a tiger moth uh, coming in doing a touch and go on one. Uh, yeah, yeah, one zero at Cross Harbour today. Had a tail today. on it. Please. Yep. Yep. One came in. Tell you what, I don't, I don't think it was a tiger moth though, because, um, yeah, it just didn't look like a, the one I've been in. Oh, maybe a gypsy moth? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, there's one that was around down South Australia, occasionally. That, yeah, that's what it was, a gypsy moth, because I've been, I've been in a, a 1942 tiger moth. Yeah, the gypsy moth comes out of, um, Bay. No, up, um, yeah, but they're making them down, um, down Hunter Valley, they're a uh, Cessna flight. What, new ones? Yeah, you can buy them, they build them down there. New tiger but they don't have ta But they don't have tail skids. And this guy was coming into, I don't know whether he was landing or touching, I was going past on the bike on the way at the hockey and, um, He's coming down on the bench and I thought, well, you wouldn't normally land a tail bragger with a skid on it on bench and I normally land them on grass. Yeah, I would have thought so too. And uh, I wouldn't let you, I would have thought. No, they won't, because I know when John Norton was alive, the fellow that owned the tiger moth that I'd been in, uh, he had to take up on the grass all the time, because it was, the, it was an original aircraft, and he had the metal skid on the back. Well, do the new ones have, have brakes? That's what I've used to be learning. Old ones No idea. Brakes. The new ones have actually got a rear... The ones they built down in the Hunter Valley that I'm aware of have got a rear wheel on them. Yeah, I think the front would also have to have brakes because they keep rolling. Now, there's almost like the airstrip at Walker is actually missing. Yes, there is. A uh, little dirt strip. Yeah, I know. It, I knew it was there in real life. I've never seen it in the real scenery. I've done nothing. Yeah, I accidentally flew over it on Friday. Oh, oh it wasn't for it. It showed, showed on one of the maps, and I thought it was uh, wrong. It was showing on Plan G, with Plan of Pound, but I was, it was nowhere near it. No, it wouldn't be. No, I don't know what that was all about. I've got no idea. I've seen it shows up again tonight on Plan G, but. Um, yeah, it was rather strange. I had the uh, Reality XP uh, GNS 530 last uh, on Friday, last flight, and uh, with the air rack that I had, which is I think maybe one old, two old, it uh, actually had uh, Hawker as an airfield, and when I flew over it, I spotted the, uh, the dirt runway. Well, there you go. We've got a fatal error again, overflowing corn. What's up with corn? Oh, buggity, I know. No. It's probably the pop coming spot. up and hitting you. Yeah, getting popped out of the sky. Same place again, Ross? Yep. Right as soon as I started to turn over the township, I've got a white screen and fatal error.
you back to square one, you're going to start with the game. Oh, uh, yeah. Roll to Hawker. There is no air strip at all. Yeah, there's nowhere to spawn. Roll to Maybe I'll go up to Rawnsley Park and wait there for you. Yeah, right. I don't think it's actually represented in the database, so I don't think you can spawn up there, unless you saved the situation. Well, we'll see. It, it shows up on my own, R-Y, uh, uh, Y-R-Y-K. It's oh, the database. They're not that far away from it, so yeah, go for that. Cole, we'll do anything to get those roots and sheep. I know, I know. I might force a white screen myself. To beat him there. Yeah, no, it doesn't show up as yeah, okay. Yeah, I wonder about that. Um you you could get yourself the uh, um using plane yeah, right. though. Yeah, that's alright, I'll get that. Yeah, just go into map mode and rig it. But bingo. You read me like a book. Well, that's what I would have done, so we're thinking of like that. Yep, <laughs> that's fine. Well, Unbelievable. Now, can somebody tell me, on plane G, out to the left of where we're flying, there's a huge, huge lake. Now, lake it's showing up, with, you know, it's showing up on plane G as a lake, but when you have a look on the uh, satellite version, it doesn't actually look like a lake. Yeah, it's salt lake. It's a salt lake. Lake, oh, it's a lake, salt? lake oh. air. Lake air, I think. No, it's lake time. No. Lake time, no. Like Very long, due for speed records in the early days. It's like tones. It's like tones. And some of the right, it's like throwing. We're like throwing. sort of between the two. to the east, if you want to put it that way. So it's solid, it's solid salt, is it? Uh, that's right. So it's salt, mate. It's very flat. You can land in yeah. the very easily there. Mm. Well, Lima Bravo Romeo, all traffic at Wallsley Park. Lima Bravo Romeo, PC6, landing on the 03, touch and go. That will fight the slider. How are we going, Lionel? Can you spot that airport yet? I've got it. We're in the Bravo Romeo, landing at Lawnsley Park. How can go? Geez, you've got time and right, I can pop up in front of you. Have you <laughs> spoken no with Charlie, uh, Lionel? Yep. No, it's just that we're just not showing up, that's all. I'm sort of behind you, and you're not showing up. Check to see what aircraft is. Supposed to be in by your AI. Uh, yeah, everybody else is showing up. Yeah, it depends. The model that you being that is represented in may not actually be visible in your scenery for some reason. Oh, right. Yeah, it's a PC to a PC6. Go for a P, the largest PC6. It's the um, equivalent of a B. Of a B, of a B. Camper van for the ride. No, there's a grader that will be there. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
break with a wheelchair and a fellow behind you. You can see you coming in there. There's an Audi station wagon, a Honda Civic wagon by the legal. I can't see what the other one I think it might be a Magna, it's a busy Magna wagon and a biplane. No luck of Walker. I'll continue the ones like Dave, you doing full stop or touch and go? Go through. Full stop. I announced it on Unicom. Yeah, tell mate. Um, tailing to the where? Left? Yes, I'll be going to the left. Check yeah, out the car Looking at where you're coming in now, uh, it's on the, um, the, the closest side, on your left hand side, where all the, uh, where the people and planes and cars and that are, guys. Yep, I can see that. Somebody coming through the trees. So, what's that, the runway again? I've been listening. Zero three. You're going around with the uh, horses. Right. Yeah, it's got a bandage on this right leg. Yeah. Can you see the harvest from the, the silos over in the back there? I'm heading over that way. I'm heading over to something up there. Yeah, you see the big yellow harvester there and there's trucks. Oh, there's a bloke going back and forth near the truck too. And there's birds swooping around everywhere over there. Hey guys. Thank you. Yeah, mate. Alright. Matt. Good, mate. You get that scenery loaded? Yeah, I got it today. Uh, good one, mate. Yeah, the, um, the ant scenery. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, where are you? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 no, I'm currently studying maths at the moment. I've got a maths exam in the morning on functions and graphs and any uh, equations. I don't know the old dy dx. Not any good at them. Oh, That's about four years ago, it was alright. <laughs> <laughs> they even stay bug every day, it was happening with busy at the moment, so I'm just trying to But somehow I get a fun demand and range. Somehow y equals two over x ends up equaling three. On a hyperbola. So again, y what was equals it? two. Y equals two over x. And the answer ends up to be like you have to find the domain and range. Like I just still can't remember how to do that. But it ends up on the um, hyperbola, hyperbola equaling negative. Yeah, over like through to negative four and five. Well, what you do, you put x as 1, and then work yeah. out what y x, and you just keep on doing that until you get a, like a curve. Okay. Now yeah, you're coming oh. in now. Hang on. So x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 2. Yeah. x is equal to 2, then y equals 1. That's the formula. That's what that is. That is so you can do on that until you, say that you again, get, a, get a curve. Say that again. So you've got y like equals it. two over x. Yep. Correct. So yeah. if x is equal to one, yep. two over one is two. So therefore y is equal to two. Yeah. So that's your x and your y coordinates. So you just mark them down. You just keep on changing it. X to number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Oh, and then. 
there, just change x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, that'll give you the y factor, that'll give you a point of graph. Dave, can I put in there just for one second? Sure. If you um, hold your curve, it bent to the y factor. If you do the gradient set up, form, though, you'll get the gradient. You will. If you, if you divide the x the formula, you'll get a gradient. Okay, you guys, you, got, you guys are good at this stuff, right? No, I'm not sure. 40 years ago. But you still remember it. <laughs> yeah. Well, can you help me like for 10 minutes? Are you, like, are you fine or what? Yeah, I'm just on the yep. ground and there's a chat room down below, so we'll have to go there. Yeah, yeah. Um, when are you finished flying? When we get to... How's that? Any other one? Shit! 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 Don't you have yeah. textbooks? That's what I'm reading through, but it makes no freaking sense. Pardon my French. Okay, Matt, uh, um, chat room. Yep, I'm taking off. Oh, ah, yeah. Not again. Not again. Not again. Susan went to set, uh, set the radio frequency and went to transmit the bank job. I've also got a couple of screenshots of the Rawlsley Park so I can put on the floor at three for tonight. Uh, I'm going to pause with you guys um, I'll catch up with you next week again. Okay. okay. Oh, Wednesday night. I'll yep. oh, probably see you Wednesday night. Hey, this is good. Um, I'm waiting for you all at Will Pina Pound and I've bagged four sheep already. What about the kangaroos? Animals. Oh, well, I've all the way up there, I can see them in the distance. Yeah, What's that you've got in your tucker bag? Tell me how many of them move. No, I'm not going to do that. It'll take away where I'm in a good position to take up. I can see a utility. We you can see a guy. A rover. So the, driving around. Yeah, you can see the big um, guard dog. The big there collie dog. Hmm. Yep. He's on steroids. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was the scaling factor, not quite right. Well, been a pound, tip or eight, nine on finals, full stop. Just quickly. Okay, I think I figured it out. So, like, one, two, X, it means that, like, two is equal to one. So, it goes two, Big, one, go three to two, then four to three, then five to four. Yeah, man, go down to the chat room. Flight room here. Park Station, Mike Hotel Golf, as uh, 9 miles inbound, 3,500. We'll be for an overflight of the field on a left downwind area, about 1,000 feet above the circuit. Mike Hotel Golf. Separate time on the ground will be a pound back in one minute.
Suffolk would be the pound for the swim through three years, depending on the race for a Virginia. I'm not sure what the rumor was. Nice clear runner. Do you guys go around the pound or do you go over and into? Um, I was about to go around the pound and I think I'd miss out on something so I did a quick climb over the hills and I just went down into the um, basin and then went out through a gap straight into the air so it was right in front of me. Oh, good. Oh, I thought everyone might have missed it. Road Station, Mike Golf is uh, the same uh, out of 3,200 for 2,500. We'll be passing on the downwind lake and then uh, resuming course to up and pound downhill. Mike Hotel Golf, Cessna. Okay, Lima Bravo Romeo will be the pound taking off on the 10. She was in the VFR flight to the early time.
Pound the pound, Mike Hotel Golf 5 Miles. We're descending down to 2,500, actually make that 2,800, looking for a right downwind. 1,000,000. Nicely done, Rusty. How can you pull that up and turn it around that quick? Differential braking comes along. I do that and I seem to slew off to get her one side with differentials. Maybe just in the setup? No, I have no idea. That seems to work fine. And uh, we're going to pound traffic down there, let's hear it at 1-0. Up in the pound, uh, Mokart Toll Golf, downwind, runway 1-0, 2,900. What I expected to see more four-wheel drives rather than standard cars. Long time at eight. Turning base, right base, runway one zero. Okay, folks, I'm a bit lost around here. I'm just following a road north, and then I'll end up, I'll track into Lee Creek later, directly using the VOR. Sounds good. That's where I did my first one there. We'll be in the pound, Mike, I told golf, final runway 1 0. Three is departing to the north. So that's something to rolling on. Uh, we'll pin the pound, Michael. Go. Michael, the golf going around, possible traffic. Pound Mike Hotel Golf climbing uh, on a crosswind to the right. Climbing to circle altitude from another approach on my altitude. Up in the pound traffic, seven four eight nine four two, taxiing to a one zero um, reaching. Keeping clear of the uh, incoming on one zero. Up in the power, Mike, it's all golf downwind on the one zero. Pen 
Uh, Michael took off, turning uh, base when we went to it. Full stop. Mike, it'll go final runway one zero. Kilo India Tango. No, I haven't yeah. got him. No, same here. No, I thought that was my Kilo Golf, but yeah, it's uh, Kilo India Tango. Okay, haven't got a visual. Maybe he's not um, connected to that him. My Kilo Golf. Are you connected to that him? My Kilo Golf is on the runway. Well, no, you're not actually. No, sir, but no official. Okay, um, can't see any traffic. Rusty, you see any no, traffic either? It's not registered on okay. my plane list. Alright, right, guys, thanks for everyone. So, I'm gonna head back off and get back into the books and. Yeah, talk to you. Ha have you hope you enjoy your flight and uh, talk to you later. See you, mate. Bye. See you, mate. See you. Later. All the best with your studies. They can be a thank real bugger sometimes. Up in the pound, Mike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, take care, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No problems. Yeah. Yeah, put in a pound traffic. Seven eight nine rolling. Put in a pound one zero. Lining up one zero behind the pump track. Hello? Anybody up there? Hi, phone. It's me. I'm here. Ah, it's a separate, but it went quiet. Ten of the pound, uh, seven eight nine. Parting circuit, uh, tracking three two nine oh, Lee Creek. The, uh, hit the red line on Australia Red. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody's dragged a line along the dunes. And we'll put a pound traffic jumping. They were rolling on the way at 1 0 to cutting to the now on my two north screens, left crosswind. The screen that I do most of me flying on, it's just a nice soil. But my other screen doubles as a um, TV, so it is, has a different texture on it. And it's bloody. Admittedly, the sunset is over that way as well, but so looking on my left hand screen, blood red. Now I'm trekking to uh, Mount Hack. Yeah, Mount Hack is a bit of a euphemistic term. It's not really much of a mount at all. No. I have no idea where Mount Hack is. I'm just sort of vaguely heading in a north direction. <laughs> 